Morning Prayer on Thursday In the name of God the Father who made heaven and earth In the name of God the Son who became a creature like us In the name of God the Holy Spirit who sustains all life on earth In the name of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into your judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul, for truly, I am your servant. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 2 to 13. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses, who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what this rising from the dead could mean. Then they asked him, why do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He said to them, Elijah is indeed coming first to restore all things. How then is it written about the Son of Man? that he is to go through many sufferings and be treated with contempt. But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written about him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Loving God, help us to hear 
your voice. This is my child, the beloved. Listen to him. May we know ourselves as beloved. May we listen to the voice of the sun. Almighty God, you search us and know us. May we rely on you in strength and rest on you in weakness, now and in all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, Loving God, in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by all the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. May your peace and freedom sustain our hopes and be realised on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb, release us. From the harm we inflict on others, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. When trials seem too great to endure, support us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and forever. Amen. God of wonder, go with us into this new day. Speak to us, refresh us, astound us, that we may grow to love you and your world more deeply. Amen.